it is May 15th and we are at our rental property. I wanted to give you guys a bit of an update on some, well, tearing out we're doing. So this was our downstairs bathroom. Art had to expose the wallboard there and see what we had. We had existing PEX, which is our main water line coming in here. And then this area here is obviously the stairs going up to where we're making the apartment. But down here, the toilet, toilet was actually back here. So we've pulled out the toilet, we've pulled out the sink, and then we ripped up the floor I think this was linoleum if I remember correctly and underneath it we found wood floor but we also found water issues so apparently this furnace here has something of a pump down there and I don't know if you guys can even that has a pump right here and this drain pipe which comes out of the furnace this is probably boring to some of you guys but for some of you might find this interesting this is a drain pump that collects i guess moisture drains it into that pump here and then that motor pumps it out into the septic tank well this drain pipe here actually became disconnected from the motor so all the water for this winter <laughs> drained onto the floor not a good thing so obviously we didn't know this because we're not living here and we weren't really paying attention to the downstairs bathroom but when we started this construction process of, for the plumbing upstairs we found this so that's led to ripping out the rest of down here and we're still picking up the supplies down here but in order the plumber said he could do this for us Wow, almost turned the light off on me. Yeah. The next step we have to do before he can get in here is we actually have to rip out this cement pad. I was never, I wasn't familiar with that standard to put a cement pad in here for the toilet. I don't, that beyond me. But he said we have to rip this up. So I've been researching for art about jackhammers or hammer drills, right? That's what yes. they're called, hammer drills. And I think we're going to just get a hammer drill. We've, we've looked into renting. We've asked some friends if they have them and it doesn't seem like anybody has it. So we're gonna have to pick up one of those and get this ripped up before the plumber can come in. So as the story goes, years before we bought this, the previous owner had a pipe burst at some point in this building. I don't know the year, but the pipe burst and they had to redo the entire downstairs. That's why the downstairs has new insulation, has new walls, has new floor because a pipe burst, I don't know if it was from the furnace or whatever, but they had to redo all that. I presume this pack line is what they put in when that all happened but it's really ugly and we're, we're gonna try to fix that so the PEX actually goes through the wall here and then out into the main room here we had to pull down the ceiling let's see if I've got enough light to show you guys so anyways we are had to rip down part of this ceiling because we've had several plumbers say they weren't going to touch this because they couldn't see what they were doing. So finally, Art and I said, that's it. We're just going to rip this apart so we can see what we're doing. And then we found a plumber who said this is possible. So this is the PEX line right here and it goes all the way over there. Really, really, quite honestly, it's very ugly. And then we have our water supply down there closer to the floor. So our plan is to change out that PEX line. We're going to be putting copper in and then running the copper up to the ceiling and then back across, which should hopefully uh, get rid of the ugly PEX line and then make it more feasible to getting the plumbing done for the upstairs bathroom, which is actually directly above those the ceil the ceiling section right here so a couple of the struggles that we're having is the fact that everything that was upstairs is downstairs and 
we can't mix the two so there's a lot of stuff it's really tight moving around down here just because all the furniture from upstairs is down here and we can't move it up until the floors get done up there we are in the process of looking for someone to sand the floors don't want i'm happy refinishing them um, i can spread the goo and all that but the sander that takes a little bit of effort to do and i think it would be worth hiring that out so we're looking for someone to do that we have an electrician all lined up and then as soon as we finish jackhammering that cement and getting that out of there we should have the plumber taken care of once that happens we will have all of our inspections that have to be done and i don't know if it's like this and all over but in new york state you have to get a building permit or a construction permit and then you have to follow their certain protocols for inspections and things like that for this process to happen we're getting there it's a slow process and it just takes time but we wanted to fill you guys in on what's happening we have a tentative completion date should i even tell them this oh sure go ahead june 26th is it, our tentative completion date that makes a snail space challenge doesn't it yes it does that's about what six weeks to get this done and we don't know we really don't know if it can be done what percent do you give it do i have to do that yeah sure right that's fine but then i look like i'm a doubting thomas well, just, well, what's your percent chance? 15%. 50, oh, I was generous. I was giving it 50. Oh, wow. Yeah. 50, 50. Well, at least livable, if not, like, totally. We will not have the downstairs complete. No, downstairs won't be done, but they're friends of ours who are downsizing, and they're looking for kind of an intermediate place to live, and so their tentative move-in date is June 26th. That's what will that happen? I don't know, but we'll try. Boy, I love that sink. That's a great place for that sink art. What, you want to keep it there? No, no, not really. Uh, We're hoping that at some point when this, this is done, that there will be a type of partition here. So when you walk in, there'll be a partition. There'll be, we're going to take this cupboard down. There'll be a small table here for uh, shoes, coats, and just an information booklet for things to do in the area. And then obviously they would move upstairs. And <laughs> yes, that's what my stairs look like right now. We have a ladder from the blown in insulation that we did. Then we've got the copper pipes that we got the other day at Lowe's yeah it's a mess so do you have any fine and <laughs> wise words of wisdom for our i'm just trying to do a couple hours a day here yes and if i can do that we'll get done eventually right and it's all all between trying to garden and get the the garden in for right. the year well you can't garden in the dark so maybe no. this is my dark project right. here well that looks better i was pulling nails earlier because all the little nails are in here you can see i got all these but this wasn't cleaned up. Wow. It looks like it has chicken pox in here. Yes. So you're only giving it a 50% chance. Only 50? I'd say 50 is pretty generous. You think 50 is pretty generous? Yes. But I, I think we can do it. I thought my 15% completion was pretty insulting, actually. Well, it is insulting. So. But... My, my, our, tr our track record precedes us, Art. I know. That's the only, okay, that's why it's 50. I wouldn't say 80, except for I know how things go. And you know the question that's going to come out of this video. What? What is everybody going to ask? Um, I don't know. When is your kitchen going to be done? Oh, yeah. Well, this kind of, like, jumped in front of the kitchen. Yes. Sadly. But it's okay. We're, uh, uh, it's okay. We're good. All right. So there it is. If you want to say the gauntlet's been put down once again i know we 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 love our snail pace challenges but the execution is extremely difficult and that's why it's called the snail's pace challenge but we truly have a date now june 26th we should we should put a calendar up our we should, yes. and we should have the snail we should make a little snail and the kids can move it every, every day. day yeah every day the snail the moves. snail moves a little bit closer yes all right folks thanks for coming along that's our our uh, update here on our business property and oh, whoops, we'll keep you posted have a good night
Bye.